Hello everybody, it's teacher Amy and I am here today to teach you about hotkeys within CamTwist. Now I have a video on this that I have done with the Google Slides on the desktop. Today I'm going to be doing with my iPad or iPhone would work the same way. Um, I know a lot of teachers like to use their iPad instead of having the windows open on your desktop and I wanted to show you that it is possible for you to use hotkeys in the very same way. So the first thing that you have to do is open CamTwist Studio, which is this window that I have over here with the red and green on the side. So to do that, you're just going to go up to your uh, gray bar at the very top of your Mac and you're going to click on view and you're going to choose the studio and it will open this window here that has the two side by side. Um, so the first thing that we have to do is create the setups that are going to be associated with the hotkeys. So you're going to have two different setups. The first one is going to have your, um, your reward or your, your iPad with your props or whatever you have on your iPad in the corner in a picture in picture. And then the second one, we're going to swap it so that you your iPad screen is going to be big and then you will be tiny in the corner. So let's go ahead and do that. So first I'm going to click on the webcam. Now I already have my webcam going here just so that you could see me. Um, we do need that as part of your setup. So make sure that your webcam is here in step three and then we're going to use a second webcam. So you're going to go down to the picture in picture button. Make sure your webcam is highlighted here and then go down to picture in picture. And then we're going to go over to the webcam settings on the right hand side of this window here and just choose the iPad from the drop down box. So there we go. My iPad screen is being projected onto CamTwist and I'm going to go to the PIP settings. I'm going to choose clear the background. I'm going to scale it down to about 0.6 and then I'm going to put it here in the corner. There we go. Now I'm going to rename this to iPad PIP because that's what it is. And then I'm also just going to save this setup just as it is with the webcam and the um, and the iPad down here. So save setup. You don't want either of these boxes checked, so make sure you uncheck those. And I'm going to save this as iPad PIP. Okay, now we're going to take this setup and we're just going to make one tiny little change to it. Over here under the PIP settings, you are going to hit swap with video source. Make sure that your iPad is highlighted here or this button won't show. So put your iPad highlighted and then just hit this button, swap with video source. So now I'm tiny in the corner and now my iPad is big. So at this point is when I would want to give the reward. So I would just touch on the iPad screen and the reward would show up. Now there is a bit of a lag going on here. I did already hit the button. Um, the lag comes because I'm screen recording with uh, QuickTime. It has nothing to do with Cam Twist and it will not happen in your classroom, um, but it is happening here because I am recording while I'm doing this. So um, so from here, I would want to switch back to the regular um, iPad PIP setup that I have, but first we need to save this setup as it is. So right now it is swapped, so we're gonna save this setup. We're gonna uncheck this box and we're gonna change this one to say iPad full screen FS or whatever you wanna call it. It doesn't matter what the setups are as long as they make sense to you. So go ahead and save that one. So now I'm going to clear out these effects and I've got my iPad pip set up down here and then I've got my iPad full screen which is swapped. Okay so now all we have to do is create the hotkeys that are going to go along with these setups. Now you're going to need three hotkeys one for each of the setups that we just created and one transition hotkey. The transition is basically what we're doing with hotkeys is when you hit the hotkey, it's going to send the setup that you want to put on the screen over there to the green side called the preview. And it's not live in the classroom. The red side over here where it says program, like if you think about if you're in a, um, a recording studio and the red light is flashing, that means that you are actively recording. Um, so this is what is live in the classroom. And uh, the transition is what is going to take your setup from over here and put it over here. Now, don't worry too much about the technicalities of all of that. Just trust me when I say every time you do a hotkey, you're going to need to put two in. You're going to need to put the one for the setup that you want to use and then one for your transition. OK, so let's create those hotkeys. So up at the top of your Mac, you've got that gray bar across the top. You're going to click on user and you're going to click edit this menu. OK, now you are going to create some new hotkeys. So first one we're going to do is the transition. So you're going to hit the plus button down here to make a new hotkey and you're going to choose from the drop down box. You're going to choose studio transition. This is going to be your transition key. You can pick whatever one of these that you want. Um, I'm going to pick uh, page curl, I guess, or actually, no, I'm going to pick swipe. So let's choose swipe. Then you're going to click this button here to record whatever shortcut you want to hit on your keyboard to make this uh, transition happen. So I like to use control plus another uh, key. Um, so just intuitively, I'm going to use control S 
and then I'm gonna give it exclusive access. And now every time that I hit Control S, it's gonna make this little swipey transition thing happen on my screen, okay? Now we need to make those transition, I mean those hotkeys for the other two setups that we had that we just created. So we're gonna do plus, this time, instead of Studio Transition, you're gonna use, use Studio Preview, and you're gonna go down to the iPad PIP, and I'm gonna record this shortcut as Control-I. You can call it, again, whatever you want. Give it exclusive access. And then I'm gonna do one for the uh, Studio Preview for the, the um, iPad full screen. So I'm gonna call this one Control-F for full screen. Again, call these whatever you want. It's totally up to you, okay? And now you can close this menu. You don't need it anymore. Okay, so now let's say I'm teaching and I've got my reward here in the corner and I can switch this back to like the general um, reward screen here. It's just gonna take a second because of the delay. Um, and I'm ready to give the reward. So all I have to do now is make sure that I click on this window. When I'm teaching, this window is literally this big in the little tiny corner of my screen. And I don't keep this window open at all. Okay, so this is my screen when I'm teaching. I just have my classroom over here and then I have this tiny little window. You have to click on Cam Twist in order to like activate your hotkey. Um, if you're in the classroom typing in the chat box or drawing on the screen or something and you try to go ahead and use the, the hotkey, it's not gonna work. You have to click on Cam Twist first. So just something you kind of have to train yourself to do. So click, click on Cam Twist and then I'm gonna hit Control F for full screen. It's gonna send it over to the green side and then I'm gonna hit Control S to swipe it over. Okay, then I want to switch back. So I'm gonna hit Control I, which will make the, um, the setup appear over there. This side, the student does not see. This is just for you. You will not see this. Only the, the student will only see what's on the red side in the classroom, okay? And then you're gonna swipe it back. Ta-da! And that's it, that's all you have to do. So um, you just have to remember two hotkeys for every transition. So control F, we'll put it over there and then control S, we'll swipe it over. And then control I, we'll put it over there. Control S, we'll swipe it over. And that's it. And you guys are all set to teach away with your hotkeys. Just remember that you have to hit cam twist before you hit any hotkeys, okay? I hope that that helps you out. Happy teaching, thanks for watching.